Guys, I don't know about you, but for years and years and years, I could not understand anything about Luminosity Mask. Nothing. And I'm going to show you a free plugin because they usually are expensive. This one's completely free. If you watch till the end, I'll show you how to get it for free where you can do professional dodge and burn. Like for example, this is a model. This is the before and after I model face. Very subtle, but then I'm going to show you also like on a, this is on a cityscape. Look at the sky before and after. Very subtle, but it really makes the sky pop. And this is a landscape. Very subtle before and after. It's going to make everything really pop. You're going to love this. Okay, so here I am in Photoshop, and what I'm gonna do is, I've got this really cool photo from Paris, which I really like. I just wish the sky was better. So back in the day, what I used to do is, I would create a layer, you know, go to like, for example, overlay, and then, you know, as wide as my foreground, and if I brush anything, it would be very visible, so I would lower my brush a lot and try to brush, but like, you can see the brush stroke really well. It's not very natural. And I've always heard about luminosity mask and how you can really do a very good selection, and I never understood really how it worked, or I, was never able to uh, use it properly. And so I'm gonna show you how to get this for free at the end of this video, if you stay till the end. But basically I'm using this thing called TK Loom Mask. It's absolutely breast it's completely free. And it takes two seconds to install. I'll show that to you at the very end. But watch this presentation. So uh, this is gonna change your workflow. I'm telling you, I'm using it on every photo now. So here I am, I have this beautiful photo of Paris. I really wanna make the sky come out better because it was like a boring sky. So I'm gonna go here, add a layer, and I'm gonna put this one in soft light. I like with luminosity mask to use soft light. So what is a luminosity mask? Well, thank you for asking. So when you click on this, you get a gray, a black and white image. Okay. Now mask in Photoshop is very simple. You have to remember that one sentence, white reveals, black conceals. So for example, on this mask, if I went to like to spray paint, it's like a stencil. If, if I were to spray paint on this mask, only in the very white and bright spot of this image would the paint go through. And so basically this little plugin is gonna give you different luminosity masks. So this one is very basic, but if you go to the right side, if you take number two, you will see that only what's bright is selected. So you can see only this is kind of selected, uh, like the very highlights. And if I go further down, it's even more crazy. You only have the Eiffel Tower that's selected. Only the very, very highlights, okay? For example, if I wanted to, basically, I want to make the sky much better. So I'm going to go to like two, because two is going to give me a selection of only the very highlights. I just want to make them pop without people seeing my brush stroke. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to load. So that is a luminosity mask, and all I care is about that, and I'm going to load it here using that, okay? So now you will see there's a little red dot around. It means that we have an active selection. You can't see it, but it's an active selection. So if I take a brush and I put it like at 100% and I'm in soft light mode, if I start brushing, see how it only sort of brushes on the highlights and not so much on the rest. And if you think it's too much, you can always go here and say, I want an even darker mask, like maybe that mask. And then you load that and you make sure you click here on that layer. And now I'm only adding white on the very brighter spot of the photo. It's crazy. It seems like nothing, but check it out. Before, after. It's already making the sky pop up. So I wanna go even further. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to soft light. And as you can see, there was a bit of warm color, but I kind of lost the color. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna click on that and take this color here. And I'm just gonna make it a little warmer and a little more saturated so it's the actual sky color, and I have a selection that's still active, but you see it's not doing much. And when it's not doing much, you need to, you know you need a better selection. So I'm gonna go maybe to uh, two, two, and load that. I just wanna bring in just some of that color that was in. I like what it's doing, but I, I, I wanna see if I can bring like a more red, yellow color, something like this. Let's try that. Ooh, not so bad. I wanna go even more yellow. Let's see here. like even more vivid yellow. But because there is a mask, it's not doing so much. Yeah, that might be a little too much. So command Z to undo, it's a little too much. Maybe just, I'm, I'm gonna lower the value of my brush just a little bit, just here, because that's when it was a bit warm. Maybe a bit here, maybe a bit here. And if you think it's too much, which I think it is, you can lower the opacity. And Look at this, before, after, I, I added some color, and before and after, and I added more contrast in my sky. 
and that's pretty cool and you can do the reverse so i can go here and i can go to the left side on the luminosity mask and now i get a reverse so remember white reveals black conceals so what is the selection here the selection is the darkness and so i just want some of the darker sky yeah darkest things in the sky selected that's good and then this time i'm going to go to black so you see i'm on yellow here i want to put back defaults so all you have to do is press d and then you press x sorry d is default so i want the black and i'm on this layer i'm going to put this layer into soft light make sure you're on the brush and then i want to see if i can add and if it's if it's doing too much command z you can just lower the brush that's one way of doing it i just want to add more contrast in its sky make the sky a little bit darker here and check it out before and you don't see any brush strokes because it's luminosity mask and then what you can do once you have all your luminosity mask and you can put them like in overlay it's going to be stronger soft light is more subtle you can try what overlay is going to give you uh this one is really too strong so i'm going to lower it i just wanted a bit of color not so much and then i can select all of that and i can drag and drag this on the, on the group and call that dodge and burn okay it's dodge and burn but using luminosity mask and look at this before after pretty cool and if you think it's too much you can even lower the overall group and you just get a very subtle uh, dodge and burn but it's very natural i'm going to put a little more of it okay cool uh, let me show you i'm going to show you on the portrait on this beautiful girl at the end but for now uh, let's do the mont saint michel oh by the way guys if you want to learn photoshop i have a really cool book called photoshop the easy way it's the most easy book ever written on photoshop you can get it for free the link must be under the video anyway so boom 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 on this one i want to make the sky also the same thing pop a little more so let's do the same thing again but this time it's a landscape it's not a cityscape so i think i'm going to go for this one number two number two you see it's the, only the highlights okay i'm going to load that and let's go number two i'm going to press x let's go to like a very yellow color very vivid let's go that just for this part here i'm going to create a new layer i put it in soft light and i'm just going to brush here maybe increase a bit because this is a really tough mask it's only doing the very highlights you see only the very highlights check it out before after i think i want to make another one just to make that sky a little more crazy so i'm going to go here and i'm going to take this time i'm going to press d to go back to the basic color x for white in the foreground and then i'm going to go yeah to that mask again maybe or maybe that mask let's try that mask this this mask is much stronger it's going to influence a lot more it might be too much so but you got to try stuff you know i go here by the way you know any tools in photoshop you can make smaller bigger by holding the control in option and you can left and right click or you can right click and then choose the size but that's really annoying i like to do it this way and you can see right away i can see the brush stroke too much that means my luminosity mask is too broad so i'm going to press command z and i'm going to go back to the selection that i had which is this one yeah this one and then you load it here and then this goes away and then i'm just going to painting some details in the sky here i'm at 78 percent maybe in the water that's my leading line my beautiful leading line but you see it's doing it in a way that uh you're not seeing the brush stroke that's the major difference okay kind of like that now i want to i want to make the sky more dramatic so i want to go the reverse so i'm going to go here add a new layer same thing soft light and this time let's go to the shadows so remember it looks weird it looks like a film it's inverted right so uh yeah i want something like this you see um in white is your selection so just think okay it's only going to influence the white part but i want yeah that seems to be good maybe a little stronger yeah let's go that's going to be really strong and then i'm gonna so that's in soft light i'm gonna press x uh black and i'm gonna make i'm gonna add some black and you see it's only making the dark clouds darker not the white clouds not doing anything on the on the it, you don't see any brush stroke it's crazy this is a little strong so I'm going to lower that and I'm going to make this a bit darker just to focus more the attention on the leaning line. But you see, it's a great way to bring in contrast on your photo in just some parts. Okay. And then you can do the same thing. You can just take the three things, drag and drop it here on the group, call it dodge and burn. And you can see the before and the after. 
and decide where you want to go. It's, you know, it's very subtle, but it's, uh, you know, if you go too strong on your photo, you want to achieve natural drama. Natural drama is mean it's dramatic, but natural. Okay, last and but not least on a portrait. Okay, beautiful model Estrella Nuri that I shot a few years ago. She's a very famous model now. So what I like to do on a portrait is give more volume to the face. On this one, I'm just gonna add a layer, same thing, soft light. And then I wanna make, she's already got like a lot of highlights on her face. I wanna just make her, her face a little thinner using dodge and burn. So on, on the face, you have to go even more lighter than on the landscape. So I'm gonna go here. I want to have a selection of her shadows here. So maybe one or two. Yeah, let's go for two. So. You see, in white is what is selected. I want to select, yeah, maybe, maybe here. I just want to select a little bit here on the skin. Let's see if that's going to go. And then I'm going to take a black brush like this. And then let's go 20% because on, on, on the face you need to go dark. Yeah. And you see, you think it doesn't do much. And what I do is I, I make her face on the side a little darker all the way here because it, it just gives her more dimension, you see? More dimension. Maybe just a little more here. It's called modeling. Just a little more model on her face, okay? Look at that, before and after. And if you think it's too much, you know, lower a little bit the opacity. And then on, on the white stuff, I think I wanna make her hairs darker. So when you do a portrait and you have something that you like, I kind of like what I did on her face. I'm just gonna take another one and maybe this one I call face, you know, and I wanna make her hairs a bit darker. So this one, I'm gonna go on the hairs using the same thing. Yeah, and I'm just making her hair a little bit darker, but you see, you don't see any brush strokes really, which is kind of cool. Look at the difference. You do see it on the background a little bit, but that's fine. I want to make the background a bit darker, so that's kind of cool. Look at the difference. And then maybe it's a little strong, so I'm going to lower that. And then let's see if I can... I just want to make maybe your eyes a little bit brighter. So I'm going to call this one hair, and I'm going to call this one... Yeah, this one I'm going to do the eyes really quick. I just want to see if I can get a little more light in the eyes. And uh, so I'm going to go here, and I want something that selects the eyes. I think I'm going to use... Maybe that selection here. I don't know if it's gonna work on yes. I didn't try that. It could be weird. I'm gonna make this smaller. Remember, control and option. And don't forget to get my book on Photoshop solely free. Up, oh, I'm on black, so command Z to undo X. And uh, just wanna make her eyes pop a little bit. I don't wanna do the rest of her face because she's got, uh, yeah, and it's a little strong on the eyes, so I'm gonna lower that. And look at that. Look at that. And then I'm going to drag this, call that dodge and burn. Oops, sorry, I made a mistake. I duplicated. It's not this one that would duplicate what you did. You go this one. Call it dodge and burn. But you see it's, um, yeah, dodge and burn. It's much more subtle. I'm going to tell you in a second where you can get this for free. It's kind of crazy and it's completely free. You just have to, you know, be a critical member. But if you have Photoshop, you are. Look at that. It's subtle, but it does something. So how to get this for free? Very simple. You go to your creative cloud here. And you go to, you do the search bar and you type TK, TK. Once you type TK, you click on stock and marketplace. And you can see here, there's something called TK Luminosity Mask, Tony Cooper. You click here, me says install on, on use. You just say, click on install. You don't even have to restart Photoshop. And if for some reason this is not visible, you can just go to plugins and TK Luminosity Mask, and it's here, completely free. Takes a bit of practice, but you will see, it's gonna add that little extra thing on your photo. Make sure you get my Photoshop The Easy Way book for free, link is under this video. I'll see you guys in another video. Oh, also, if you guys are like Lightroom users, and you just wanna know a little bit of Photoshop, like all you need to know about Photoshop for Lightroom users, I have a video for you starting right now. Check it out.